In this tutorial, I will illustrate how to make a business card in Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing that we're going to want to do is go up to File, select New, and pick the business card 90 by 50 millimeter template. That'll set your document up uh, like you see here. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, let me zoom in on this, is we'll pick our font tool and I'll type out some text. select our text dialog and I'll go pick out a font that looks halfway decent okay there we go I'll also change this to about a 28 okay now I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna change the duplicated copy to a path and I'm also going to do a break apart. This breaks apart the letters into individual entities. And all we're concerned with right now is the letter M. I'm going to go ahead and just make them just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to delete the first character out of this text. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on this. Kind of see how this looks. That looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and align them. I'll we'll select the bottoms. And I'll push this apart just a little bit more. There we go. All right. That's the first part. Next, I'll duplicate this text again. We're going to type the word valley, slide it over, duplicate this. Okay, we're going to change it to a path. I'm going to break this text apart. And I'm going to make this the same size as this. So I'll select this, see what our height is. Okay, double click this, get rid of our first character, select these two things, do a bottom align, and I'll slide this in just a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I'll take this whole thing, we'll give it a different color, and I'll slide it up here. I'm going to go ahead and group this together along with this. We'll keep everything aligned. Select our align tool, align bottoms. There we go. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out here so we can get a bigger picture. All right, next thing we'll do is I'll ungroup this. I'm going to duplicate text again. This time I'll spell the word computer. make it smaller. We'll just eye this here until we get it something that looks about right. That looks pretty good. Okay, next I'm going to zoom in on this a little and I'm going to draw a rectangle to go along with our uh, company name. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and align these two on the centers. Okay, now I'll select this rectangle, turn it into a path, zoom in on this area, and double click the middle. That adds a node to the middle here. I'm going to select that one node and give it a curvature. Slide it in here. And 
we'll just fudge this a little bit till it looks about right. Just a little closer. Okay. I'll give the opposite end a curvature. Okay. Now, I'll slide these in. Just a little bit bigger. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll zoom back out again. Okay, and that's pretty much our, uh, our company logo. The next thing I'll do is uh, duplicate the text. I'm going to make some new text here. And we'll give ourselves a name. Select our text tool. We'll give this about a 22. Make sure that it's centered. There we go. We'll hit enter. We'll put in a phone number. There we go. We'll slide that over here for now. I'll duplicate this text. And we'll make this just a little bit smaller. We'll do like a 10. Okay, now I'm going to start filling out the address. I'm just going to make up some stuff here. We can put a pipe in between. Give it a fake city. I hope this is a fake city. And give it a zip code. Okay, next line we'll do phone number. We'll do fax. John Doe's email address here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And we'll put in our company website address. go ahead and rotate this straight up and we'll put it over here for now okay now let's zoom out so we can get a bigger picture here and uh, I'm gonna take this combine it together and make it just a little bit higher take this up just a little bit higher and move this just a little bit okay now with I'm going to select all three of these. We'll take our line tool. We'll switch this to page. I'm going to do a, a vertical line. And I'm also going to space these all uh, equally. So I'll hit my distribute button. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to select all three again. Combine them. And this time, I'll do a horizontal move there. And I'll take this, and I'm going to do a horizontal. And we're going to push this over just a little bit. That looks pretty good. And I think that's everything. And that's our business card, Maple Valley Computers. Thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.